here today to talk about the future of Kansas City and the opportunities of one terminal for KCI Airport. This is very, very important to me. My dad, I'm a third generation concrete finisher. My dad helped build KCI Airport in 1972 when I was not even in high school yet. Since that airport was built, I don't know if you all realize what's happened since then. That was the pivotal moment that moved Kansas City forward. That's where we got the stadiums. 435 didn't even loop around the entire city until after the airport was built. We are actually standing in front of a sliced girder that came off the Grandview Triangle that is now called Three Trails Crossing. Kansas City continues to move forward. We have a new downtown. We have a streetcar that hopefully will get the second phase of streetcar. We need to be focused on the proposal and the funding source that Burns and Mack has brought to us on building a new airport. Organized labor in Kansas City wants to make sure that there is no doubt that we support the Burns and McDonald plan to finance and build a new airport. It's a critical need we face, and we're lucky enough to have an airport. You know, the federal government has given us a gift in that airport, and we need to be good stewards and take good care of it. We've done our best to put Band-Aids on it and to keep it running and keep it efficient, but the time's now come for a new airport, and we have to build it. We have to build it now. It just makes sense. If there's a renovation plan that's as far along as this and has this much chance to go, great. A $1.2 billion renovation plan that comes forward within the next week, we'd be able to support. It's about getting this job done now. I'm afraid we may miss a window of opportunity we have. Uh, it was pointed out to me that one of the reasons Kansas City did not suffer as much during the Great Depression as other parts of the country was they had a lot of work on the books. There was a new city hall, there was a new police headquarters, a new county courthouse, plus Brush Creek was also going. And that's what kept Kansas City healthy during that economic downturn. I fear there may be another economic downturn in our future, and it sure would be nice to have this project up and running and ready to go.